Revisto 5.13 New Features You can temporarily move objects in Revisto. This helps you find the best way to fit an object or resolve a clash. Moved objects are highlighted and Revisto displays the move distance. Once you are satisfied with the move, create an issue to communicate the desired move to your colleagues. Integration with A-Site allows you to browse cloud-hosted A-Site files within Revisto attach them to issues, and convert hosted PDF documents to sheets. In Clash Automation, you can now set a default camera angle for consistent display of clashes. Additionally, you can fit Clash section boxes to model levels to get a better context for each clash. Lines can now be exported from authoring tools as line objects instead of 3D objects. This makes them clearly visible at a wider range of zoom levels. The new status allows you to put clash groups on hold if you are not ready to send them to the issue tracker. You can copy markups from one issue to another. This saves time and effort when you create a bunch of similar issues. You can also use temporary stamp templates to clone stamps with markups. Hard clashing got a new option to detect objects that are fully inside one another. We also added a separate clashing type for detecting such objects. A new clashing type called Duplicates helps you find duplicate objects in 3D models. The stamp abbreviation can now contain up to four characters. We updated the demo stamps to match the best practices for different regions and disciplines. While editing multiple issues, you can add a comment or attachment to those issues. You can customise the selection colour, making it clearly visible on top of your original model colours. Revisto 5.13 supports the latest versions of Revit, Navisworks, AutoCAD, Civil 3D, Plant 3D, Inventor and Tecla. Also, we developed a new plugin for Autodesk Advanced Steel 2023 and 2024. Download Revisto 5.13 now to get access to these new features, or request a demo and learn more at revisto.com. Building better together.